Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. Um, and uh, the, the rain came, the wind blew, um, and I slept like a baby last night. Um, so I was hoping that we were gonna have a, a big storm, thunder, lightning, crashing. Um, if we did, I missed it because I slept through it. Um, we got a little bit of sunshine over my shoulder. Um, but I have it on good authority. Uh, it may or may not last all day long. So, um, as we begin, just a, a reminder to, uh, to the parish. Um, our second graders, well, second graders becoming third graders, um, are making their first Holy Communion this week. So, last night was the first of three Masses. There's another Mass tonight and another Mass on Thursday night. And so if you could remember to keep our, uh, our, our young people in your prayers, them and their families, as they make their first Holy Communion. As I mentioned before, unfortunately, these, these Masses can't be open to the entire parish, um, but have to be uh, limited to the families of the first communicants. Um, but please pray for our, uh, for our younger brothers and sisters making their first Holy Communion. All right, and so we begin our morning prayer with the Invitatory. And so we begin, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. <clears throat> All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voice and with us sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with softer gleam, oh, praise him, oh, praise him. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Thou rushing winds that are so strong, ye clouds that sail in heaven along, oh, praise him, alleluia. Thou rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, oh, praise him, Oh, praise him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? I cry aloud to God, cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the days of in the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remembered my God and I groaned. I pondered and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled, I could not speak. I thought of the days of long ago and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? 
Does God forget his mercy or in, in anger withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remembered the deeds of the Lord. I remembered your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O Lord, are holy. What God is great is our God. You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The skies sent, their, sent forth their voice. Your arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled round the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously, you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise, and celebrate your name with lasting praise. O God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor to set them with nobles and to make a glorious th throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. He has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones. But the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is king, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt, melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you clothe the sky with light and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Trial, or distress, or persecution, or hunger, or nakedness, or danger, or the sword? Yet in all this we are more than conquerors because of him who has loved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord all my life long. I will bless the Lord all my life long. With a song of praise ever on my lips, all my life long. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will bless the Lord all my life long. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be God, our Savior, who promised to remain with his church all days, until the end of the world. Let us give him thanks and call out, Remain with us, Lord. Remain with us the whole day, Lord. Be, let your grace be a sun that never sets. Remain with us, Lord. We dedicate this day to you as an offering. Do not let us offer anything that is evil. Remain with us, Lord. May your gift of light pervade this whole day that we may be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Remain with us, Lord. May the love of your Holy Spirit direct our hearts and our lips, and may we always act in accordance with your will. Remain with us, Lord. And this morning we also pray, lifting up our voices, praying for all of those that we know who are sick, all of those that we know who are, who are suffering, particularly those struggling with long-time illnesses, struggling with cancer or with the treatments of cancer, those who are needing surgery or recovering from surgery. We pray for a complete recovery for all of these, both in body as well as in soul. We pray too for those who are struggling with depression or anxiety, those who are overwhelmed by fear. We, we pray for those too who struggle with mental illnesses, those who struggle with dark thoughts of suicide or self-harm. We pray for their healing, also in body, in mind, and in soul. We pray for all of those who have asked for our prayers all of those that we've promised to pray for, those words so easy to say, I'll, I'll pray for you. But lifting up them now before the Lord, asking him to heal them, 
to show them his compassion, his mercy, and his love. We pray for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon us, for a spirit of mercy and a spirit of forgiveness. We pray for the parish of St. Patrick, St. Anthony, that the Lord would pour out his love and his grace, that he would enliven each of their hearts and strengthen their faith. We pray for ourselves, especially for healing within our own relationships, particularly within our families and at home, and for gentleness and generosity, for the grace to always assume the best rather than jump into suspicious suspicion or conclusions or cynicisms. And we pray then too for all of our beloved dead. We pray for the repose of the soul of, of Father Ernie Bernat, pray for the repose of the soul of Father Ron Schneider, and pray for the repose of the soul of Father Dan Morrow. For these and for all of the holy souls in purgatory, lifting them up now before the Lord. And so gathering all of these prayers, all of these intentions, these spoken aloud, those that we hold in the silence of our heart, we pray those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us. And so together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, as a new day dawns, send the radiance of your light to shine in our hearts. Make us true to your teaching, and keep us free from error and sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining me for the Liturgy of the Hours for Morning Prayer this morning. And may God pour out his blessing upon each of you. Um, by way of announcement, uh, I have been working with the, uh, the leaders of the Adoration Chapel. Um, and uh, I believe we are, we are good to go. What we're going to be doing is this. We're not going to be having adoration um, in the Adoration Chapel. Uh, and we're gonna, it's not going to be able to be perpetual 24-7. Um, but we're going to be having adoration in the main body of the church following morning mass until 8 p.m. in the evening. And so uh, we're going to be beginning that. We will begin that next week, Wednesday. And so I know that the uh, adoration captains have been calling people, making sure that we have uh, enough individuals signed up to, uh, to have people present to adore the Lord for all of those hours. Um, it's not as, uh, I can't wait to get back into the Adoration Chapel, we're just not quite there yet. Um, but this is a good beginning. So um, stay tuned for more updates on that. But uh, beginning next week, Wednesday uh, is the day. All right, brothers and sisters, um, have a beautiful day today. Um, if you can, uh, get out there. If it's raining, stay dry. Uh, if it's a beautiful day, get out and enjoy it. Um, but remember, above all, to be safe today, to be healthy today. But please remember, be holy today. May God be praised in you, and may God be praised through you.